Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with board games and RPGs coming in with like the third part because there's so much. I'm going to look at these if you're still here. This is the painted ship, which is good because I don't paint things. I'm a terrible painter. I could probably paint this one though. Brown with just little touches of whatever windows are. But it's still nice because why? Because whenever I do think I'm going to paint something, I buy the paint. I paint something, I spend a ton of money on the paint, and then I never use it again and it all dries up. <laughs> That's what happens to me. Uh, metal coins, there were two of them in the bag here actually. Quite weighty, very nice. Uh, copper, I could see, sometimes I'll repurpose these for um, role playing games that I have. We'll see, but uh, they'll never go to waste. These look nice. Not sure 100% what's going on with them, but they're weighty. They have heft. Uh, the bag is even heavier stock. All right, so copper, almost more like a penny. All right, nice, tons of them. We've got the painted ship off to the side. We've got some special resources. Let's just take a look. So, I don't know, wood, brick. What is it supposed to be? Looks like some kind of blood almost, but I can't tell. These are carrots, which look very nice and carroty. <laughs> Those are kind of nice. Uh, no idea what this is. What is this? It's like a metal bell or something. It looks almost, I think it's a bell. Those are bells. Maybe. Or maybe they're ingots. This looks like wheat, chaffs of wheat. Very nice. All right, let me put these back in the bag and then we'll look at these. All right, what is this? What is this book? All right, we'll take a look. Let's see if I can keep from banging on this. We'll pull this off. And what is inside? Okay. Hmm. I was going to say, is it blank? What would I do here? Maybe write notes? All right, looks like there is a story to tell, and we'll flip and then just move on. All right, I have no idea. It looks like somebody had a journal. All right, what is the battle mat? What is this? I want to be a little more careful opening this up because I think I'll store it in this bag if I can get it open. It's neoprene, you can tell, kind of like the feeling of a mouse, but very thin, very thin. Let's see here. Oh, okay, it's not as thin as I thought. I thought it was folded over, but there's two sides. Hmm, it's almost exactly mouse material. Off to the side. Now this is one of the little boxes, but this looks like a throwaway box. It's very light that I don't care if it got crushed because I don't see me holding on or saving this, but we'll see. I got a feeling it'll pack into one of my expansions. Let's get a look. Let's take a look here. And see what's inside. So, is that it? That looks to be it. We have some cards, we have a holder for a standee, maybe it's in one of the cards, or one of the pieces. We have a storybook, and let's see, all right, so you can tell here we've got some more paragraphs that'll be in here. It looks like maybe not the pictures, which is totally fine, extra branching stories. A la ambush missions. Love it. If you played ambush in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. The Crypt of Thorns. I have no idea. No idea. The Coral Temple. Blood Runes. Very nice. Okay. Looks like these are just like one-offs that come together. Lantern, keys, some bits. Punch out is easy peasy. All right, Tides of Ruin. Now this one feels more like a box that you would keep and hold on to. I don't know if it'll show up, but it got a little bit crushed on this backside. 
That is all right. I don't need my boxes pristine. Let's take a look here. All right. So we recognize the boat is the inside of the box colored. It is. All right. We've got a little tiny flip book, skinny. All right, just to show a couple, archipelagos, islands, as you would expect. Very nice. Some, some of those tarot size cards. You can see this is just a smaller little expansion, but very nice. Quest cards numbered. Again, I believe spoilerish, so I'm not going to unwrap them. Take them out of the shrink. We'll leave them in. This is definitely a box that I'll leave in. We'll keep these stored that way. I think with those chests, I still wonder if some of these will fit in there. But we shall live and learn. Arcade mode. Interesting. All right. Then we got the bigger flip book. You can see. Not still thick, but not quite as thick as the the main game boxes go. And again, you can see these are a series of like paragraphs. You know, go read R34. You'll read it. You'll make a decision. You may have to achieve something. You may have to be referenced to yet another area. I love this. I love it. Go check out Victory Games, the Ambush Games, to see my first exposure to it. So that's a real quick one. Again, does. The bend show up. I bet you I can work it out. I think you can see the crease right there. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, and the last expansion box, smaller but a little thicker, so we can see what we have here. I like the African Queen type little boat, like you're going up and down the Amazon. See if I can get her open. All right, there we go. That one was a little tougher all the way around. All right, let's see what is in here. I'm anticipating, and yes, there is the river we shall be maybe traveling down. Again, with the smaller book. Again, this feels, I don't know. Well, obviously, these are the geographical maps, and then... Well, I'll have to figure it out. Definitely looks like something more that you're traveling down and flipping through. Rule book and story book, so this should have paragraphs in it as well. All right. Yep, sure does. Okay. Got it. There seems to be a piece that's already worked itself out. Let's see. We've got a map sheet, a journey log. see where that came from. All right, both sides. Some more characters. Where did that missing piece flip away from? Maybe it just landed in there from the factory. Oh, there she is. There she is. Easy to punch out. We have our wooden bits. Are they plastic? Can't tell. Look, wooden. Interesting die or dice and combat cards. Hmm. Nice axe. Event cards, combat. Again, I'm not going to open these, but that covers it. Part three is over. A three part unboxing. Oh my!